Hey guys, Jimmy God here, and uh, I hope everyone's had a good 2024 so far. Uh, January has been a pretty hit or miss month for the community, I'd say, because uh, another former community member just left uh, 360 after he was humiliated when his uh, when his secret photo got revealed, got hijacked and revealed to the public, which he did not want, and uh, all the harassment and a uh, bullying that was going on in the community, basically around. Me and him and other friends around me, it was too much for him to bear. So 360 is pretty much out of the community game. That's sad. And uh, as for me, I've actually been trying to regain myself, like put myself back together mentally. Because, you know, the community drama was starting to get the better of me as well. So uh, um, I, I am getting better. I am a little bit better. I am back in the saddle and I'm ready to uh, take on more reviews. And I'm growing a thicker spine. And I'm actually going to uh, tackle any more fake a accusations about me going forward, head on, regardless of uh, if I lose any more friends over it. All over facts and logic that I, uh, I don't really regret talking about facts and logic on this reviews, but going forward, those facts and logic will be talked about on a separate account. A few of my friends didn't want me to talk about facts and logic in my product reviews. And it did get a few friends of mine in the community to raise an eyebrow at me, so uh, I can actually understand where they're coming from. So, uh, so yeah, here's hoping 2024 is the turning point where quality will return to this channel for good. And starting off with my return is one of the four 2008 flirty flashers, this one being the bear. It's the original bear, not the selfie bear, not the 2021 bear that plays the stripper, not one of the 2012 remake bears. It's the original Flirty Flasher bear from 2008. And 2008 was the last year for the original Flirty Flasher mechanism because from 2009 onward, the arms and hips were combined into one mechanism. And... And I actually kind of prefer the first version, but I can kind of see why they come, they watered it down to make it a two-in-one mechanism. But really, the decline in quality on the Flirty Flasher series was not that bad. I mean, sure, in 2017, 2018, the designs were pretty bland, nothing special, and uh, the song choices weren't that great. I mean, the only really good Flirty Flashers in the 2017, 2018 line, in my opinion, were the Sock Monkey and the Selfie Bear. Because the songs didn't sound like your generic uh, EDM, uh, Justin Bieber-esque like songs. Y you know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure you know that stuff. I'm sure other people can describe it better than I possibly could. But as for this bear, he came fully working. And I got the other 2008 Flirty Flashers um, fully working. With the exception of one. Which I did have fully working, but I did want to put some reinforcements on it. And I'll be talking about that. When I get to reviewing that particular Flirty Flasher, you probably which no, you probably know which one I'm talking about. I actually remember owning this guy, the Dalmatian and the Double Monkey, um, back when they first released in 2008, and I thought I was losing my mind because when I held the hips, um, the song would play all slow and distorted, and then when I tried to put brand new batteries, it would um, start out at normal pitch and then get lower and lower pitch, and I thought maybe I damaged the like one of the pitch resistors on the board because it got lower pitched and lower pitched but that was back then I was probably just going crazy and uh I don't know it was just a memory blur for me I tried it with this one and uh it, it acts like pretty much any typical classic Jemmy item would um it would get slow and distorted but it would stop um once the voltage reached a certain number and then it would cut off and uh, when I tried brand new batteries, it was back to normal. So yeah, I really do think I was losing my mind and uh, kind of hallucinating, I guess, um, when I back in 2008 when I got this guy, because uh, this guy does not have a faulty circuit board. He works perfectly fine, as you will see. He swings his hips, um, opens and closes his robe, and the heart underneath flashes as he sings um, the Smokey Robinson version of Get Ready For This, or Get Ready Cause Here I Come, or whatever. So, yeah, here he is in action.
Yep. And he even has the uh, original tags still attached, too. The original Tush tags, I should say. And we'll get to those. But let's get an up-close look at the details here. You can see the hair is kind of um, messy. There we go. It's, it's kind of supposed to be like that. But you could have it uh, down or floppy or whatever. It, it, it doesn't matter. This guy looks pretty good for being 16 years old now. The hands are still attached to the robe with the original stitching. Um, the robe shows no signs of fraying, which is a good thing. There's the boxer shorts, and the heart underneath reads unbearable. Now, uh, I kind of think that the message of choice there was a bit of a bit of an awkward choice for a message there, because really the textbook definition of unbearable means you can't stand someone. Like, when you, like, say to your Valentine, like, if you're trying to say to your crush you love them, saying that they're unbearable would probably you be implying that you think they're un insufferable. So, that probably wasn't, the, it was probably the, the first and only thing they could think of. Or, I mean, they did kind of fix that in a, in a later Flirty Flasher from 2012, which is a, uh, uh, Canada exclusive Flirty Flasher that sings Screams, and it has a heart that reads, I can't bear it without you. So I think um, that makes more sense. But, uh, you know, um, they were working um, with what they had at the time. Robe is very clean, as is the character itself. And then here's the tag. This was sold at Walmart. And I do remember it almost like it was yesterday when I got my original Floaty Flasher Bear and Floaty Flasher Dalmatian from Walmart. Ah, good times. This is item number. Let's see if I can see it. Four, uh, zero four eight six zero, but here it says four five five three nine. Marketed by Walmart stores, made in China. Walmart.com, Jemmy Industries Corp, Coppell, Texas seven five zero one nine USA. There's the press on off button pad, and the chances of these buttons um wearing out and fading into just a patch of white is pretty unlikely because it's got a clear protective cover over it, so that um that design is there to really stay. Here's the bottom, with the battery compartment on the feet, two of them, Jemmy Industries Corp, Jemmy Industries Corp. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, play them again. And there you go, guys. That's the Jemmy Flirty Flasher Bear, the original one from 2008, sold at the one and only Walmart. And guys, if you want my honest opinion, um, I don't think any other Flirty Flasher Bear could possibly top this guy. Call it um, nostalgia baiting all you want, but I think the only Flirty Flasher that comes remotely close to topping this guy is the 2021 Flirty Flasher Bear that plays the stripper. Even though it does have, like, the, you know, the typical shades, you know, Jimmy, like, trying a little too hard to be pandery. I mean, the, the shades were not really necessary. You could just take them off and it would be pretty much perfect, even if it did have a uh, watered-down version of the 2009 Flirty Flasher mechanism. But, I digress. Thanks for watching.